Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's review is going to be on the best sunscreen lip balms. So the first one I'm going to be reviewing is the Sun Balm. This is the Sun Balm Sunscreen Lip Balm. It's SPF 30. I got it from Ulta for $3.99. $3.99. That's right. Comes in seven flavors or scents as they call it. Coconut, pomegranate, banana, key lime, mango, pineapple, and watermelon. I have it in the pomegranate, so you see the pink color. It's 0.15 ounces, and it's got the active ingredients are avobenzone 2%, homocellate 15%, and octanozate at 7.5%. It's also got aloe and mineral oil and cocoa seed butter, so I think those are the moisturizing ingredients. If mineral oil is not your thing or you're allergic to it, you don't want to use this product. Again, I have the pomegranate, so this is the packaging it comes in. It's very convenient packaging. You can put it in your purse, you can put it in your pocket. It doesn't really melt um, like that. It's got the highest SPF. That's the order I'm going to review these sunscreen lip balms on. And you just open the top, so flip up top, and you twist it up. And I'll show you the color here. It is very, very light and it's almost flaky, but it's very, very light. So it's almost like a sheer shimmer, and I'll swatch it for you. That's what it looks like. You can see a little bit of the shimmer up here, the way it catches the light, but it's barely, barely noticeable. Um, and I kind of wanted a little bit of a rosy shimmer, which is why I got the pomegranate. It smells like pomegranate, so I would say that's accurate. I can't speak to the other ones as far as if they smell like key lime or banana. I can only speak to the pomegranate one. So it smells great. I do like that but it tastes awful. Um, that's the con of this product. I can, I don't know if it's supposed to taste like pomegranate, but it does not taste like pomegranate. I can almost taste the sunscreen in it, and I can smell the fragrance. So this does have fragrance in it. So if you don't want mineral oil and you don't want fragrance in your lip product, this is gonna be a no for you because this has fragrance in the ingredient list which is one of the reasons why I give this one a thumbs down. It's also not long lasting to me. I, I don't expect it to last a long time because it's like chapstick, you know, you, you're going to reapply it. But this dissipates really, really fast. And the taste of the sunscreen or whatever it is that's in here is overpowering. I mean, I need to wipe it off immediately because it's just driving me crazy. It just tastes disgusting to me. Um, it's got good slip in terms of it is initially moisturizing, but the deal breaker for me is what it tastes like um, and I can't have that on all day even wiping it off I still taste the after effects of it and it's almost like I have to put water on my lips to get this taste off so it's a no for me the second one is Neutrogena revitalizing lip balm so this one is SPF 20 it is also 0.15 ounces it's both same product size in terms of just the packaging this one's more circular around like a chapstick and this one is more flat, um, like rectangular, but it's also a flip up, twist up. So I'll show you the color on this one. I have it in Sunny Berry, that's the color. You can see. So this one is more pigmented than the Sun Bum, which I like, but it is not what you think when you think Sunny Berry. You think, oh, for summer, that might, that's gonna be a deep berry color. It might be too dark. I am fair. And the Sunny Berry is perfect because I find that it gives a really nice wa light wash of color that's not too overpowering, and it's great for summer. So I really like this color. It's also one of the most popular colors. It comes in six colors. Uh, Sheer Shimmer, which is number 10, and that is exactly what it says. It is a sheer shimmer, so it's clear. Um, and a lot of guys like to wear that one because it's a clear uh, sunscreen protect protectant for your lips and it has no color in it. The number 20 is a healthy blush. Number 30 is sunny berry, which is the one I have. 40 is petal glow. 50 is soft caramel and 60 is fresh plum. Most popular colors from what I've seen are the sheer shimmer because it's clear, the sunny berry, uh, which is why I got it, and number 50, the soft caramel, if you like nude um, colors. It's a very nice, soft, pretty nude that kind of matches with everything. And if you like nude colors, it's a, it's a really nice, pretty color. One thing to watch out for, the two pinks, which are the healthy blush, number 20, and the petal glow, which is 40, 
one of them is very frosty shade. I forget which one it is. I think I want to say it's the Healthy Blush that's very frosty, and some people don't like that, and they're surprised when they actually put it on their lips. So think about that. It is, they um, say it's a tinted lip balm as well as an SPF, and I would definitely agree with that. It was $10.29 at CVS, so a little bit more than double the price of the sunscreen. But I would say it's completely worth it, even though it's the same size packaging, because I feel this is much more moisturizing. And the ingredients for this one is oxynozate 7.5%, oxybenzone 5%, and it's also got lanolin and shea butter, which may be why I feel this one feels more moisturizing. Even after it comes off, I still feel it's moisturizing. It is super comfortable. You have to reapply it because, you know, it's a it's a, like a chapstick. You're going to have to reapply it, especially if you're in the water. I love this for the pool. I love this for summer every day. Um, I've never gotten burned in terms of my lips wearing it. Um, I wear it to the pool, to the beach. This is my favorite of all the lip balms that I'm reviewing today that have sunscreen in it. And SPF 20 is a pretty good amount. You can also get it at a discount if you are CVS, which is my local dark store. If you uh, have one of those cards, you get extra bucks rewards. You can use it on this. Also, Neutrogena is always even um, having sales, like buy one, get one 50% off. So I grabbed two of these. I love it. The thing about SPFs, though, you want to be careful because sunscreens, just like body sunscreens, they expire. So I try to just get like one a year or one for whenever I need it. I don't try and stock up because the sunscreen will expire and it will essentially be useless. One thing and my favorite thing about this is this is fragrance free. It is the only one that I have found and the only one that I'm reviewing today that is completely fragrance free. So, and it has great slip. I, it smells a little bit. I want to say it almost smells like watermelon. -y. I don't know why. Maybe that's what sunscreen smells like to me. It does not smell coconutty, um, but the smell dissipates, and when you put it on your lips, I don't really taste anything. Um, so unlike the sun balm, you don't have an overpowering, nasty taste in your mouth. So um, I love this. It's my favorite winner. Thumbs up to me. The last is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment Sunscreen. This one is also very popular at Sephora is where I got it. This is the box that it comes in. I got it in the color Rosé, which is one of their more popular colors. Uh, it has the lowest sunscreen. It's sunscreen 15. It's $24. So um, it's pretty pricey, and it is the most priciest of the bunch. It's 0.15 size, 0.15 ounce. So interestingly enough, this is the same amount as this. It's, I guess they're just their packaging makes it look larger, but the amount of product you get is the same, and you're paying double for it. This one has 13 shades. So out of all the ones that I review, and it has the most um, color selection in it, uh, it's got sugar, meadow foam, and black currant seed oils and grapeseed oils, which is why it's probably, that's why it's moisturizing. It is free of sulfates and parabens, but it has fragrance, which makes this a deal breaker for me. The sunscreen ingredients in it is octonosate, same thing as the other one, 7.49%. Oxybenzone, 2%, and this one's got beeswax. So I'm going to show you this color. Wipe it off. It's a very nice rose-tinted shade. I will swatch it. I'm going to swatch the Neutrogena one, too. I realize I did not do that. So you can see all three of them. Okay. So the top one is the Neutrogena. This one right here. The middle one is the fresh. The Neutrogena is maybe a little bit more warmer, uh, berry color. The Neutrogena is more pinky coral. And then the Sun Balm is like almost sheer, basically. Um, so this one smells amazing. It smells like lemon. And I'm not a big fragrance person. I hate having fragrance in my products. But this is just like fresh lemons. That's what it smells like. Um, I love that. I love that it's free of sulfates and parabens, but I don't love that it's fragrance. So that's why it's a deal breaker for me. This one is moisturizing. I think this one feels the most moisturizing at, at most initially of all of them. This feels the most moisturizing. But what I don't like about it is when it dissipates, I almost feel like my lips are drier. I don't like that. Um, 
it's it's almost as if they purposely make it so moisturizing and there's something in it that chaps out your lips so you apply more um, almost like a lot of chapsticks are so I don't like that about this and also what I've heard is it gets rancid fast I read online that they're saying after about six months the texture and the color changes and it's a lot of product and if you're not using it every day and it runs out well you just spent $24 for what um, what I also don't like about it other than I think it gets dry fast is it's very soft texture so I don't know if you can see this it is like very buttery which is nice as far as moisturizing it has a lot of slip but I don't like that it breaks easily so it's almost as if if you swipe it on these are this is one of those that will tend to break off and if it breaks off and you've got a third of your product gone what are you gonna do so um, it's so soft that it breaks it tends to break and I don't like that um, out of all the three like I said the Neutrogena is the winner for me because it's got SPF 20, so in between the Sun Bum that's 30 and the Fresh that is 15. It is not fragrance. It does not smell. It fits easily in my pocket. This is a little bit more hefty packaging than I wanted, and I don't want to pay $24 for um, a lip sunscreen. So that's why this one has my boat. Lastly, I do want to quickly mention the Aquaphor. So I know a lot of people love this as a holy grail in terms of a lip moisturizer. I use it myself at night. It's fragrance free, it's moisturizing, I love it. So I tried um, because it comes in sunscreen form and it was two of them for $9.99. I purchased it to see you know, what it would be because I loved the original. It is horrible. I would highly not suggest that. That's why I don't have it with me today. I just have the original, this one. But it tastes like sunscreen. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's fragrance, but it's an overpowering taste that I just could not um, use it at all. So I don't recommend the Aquaphor. That's my review on the lip sunscreens. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, you want to see more on beauty products, hair products, or travel destinations, please subscribe and uh, hit the box below. It is completely free. And if you click the bell, you'll get notifications and not miss a video. And I usually post every, every week. So um, thank you for watching. Till next time.